welcome to Have Guitar, I hope you're doing great as always. This is a pedal frenzy where I review pedals and today we're gonna have a look at the DP Dirtle from Tone City. Uh, why do I have two pedals in my hands? Because the DP Dirtle, I hate to say that because I keep uh, stumbling on the words, on the letters rather. Uh, because the DP Dirtle is based on the Tone City Mandragora, which is based on a Kalamazoo Love pedal. Uh, and we're going to compare them in another video, but not in this video. Anyway, what have changed? Uh, on the Mandragora, you have a presence knob. On the DP Doppel, you have a mid knob instead. Uh, also, the tone control has been tweaked on the DP Doppel pedal. Uh, it has a more uh, pleasing frequency to the ear, according to what I've read. And maybe I would agree. Maybe I would. Anyway, uh, also I've changed a little thing in this video about how I present the pedal because previously I've had like a ton of different profiles from zero gain to high gain trying to show every kind of thinkable situation that you could hook up a pedal in. Uh, in this video instead I have chosen one clean profile from Tone Junkie uh, where I really dig into the pedal and try out lots of different settings. And then I have a just slightly overdriven orange uh, amplifier profile from Reamp Zone where I show you how you can boost something that's already slightly overdriven. Uh, so please let me know in the comments if you like this variant better because I think it's a little bit different. And I am trying to evolve this video channel on YouTube. Alright, uh, let's listen to uh, the demo. First out is a profile from Tone Junkie, it's taken from a Fender Bass Man, belongs to that pack called uh, Low Man. And uh, it sounds like this, uh, I've left a little bit of reverb left on it because that's nicer. So I'm gonna go through the microphone positions on the guitar or the pickup positions that I'll be using, starting with this. Control set for 12 o'clock and then it sounds like this. Now that's a really nice warm overdrive tone and uh, well let's fiddle around with controls and see what they do really. So let's start off by lowering the gain, leaving the rest at 12 o'clock. Let's go the other way around, upping it to 15 o'clock. Let's see what we have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
from my previous experience of the Tone City pedals, I know that upping the volume really adds a bunch of energy. So let's turn back to drive to 12 and up the volume and see what happens. So we get drive at 12 and we will do uh, volume at max, full, as you say, in some countries. <laughs> of your pick because it's a big difference to do a or a really big difference so I'm not just guessing I think I know that if we up the gain now when the volume is high what will we get? We will get more noise and a lot more attack in the gain. So let's uh, or in the tone. Uh, so let's up the gain and see what happens. Well, it's not that noisy at all. <laughs> as well. So I'm going to turn down the gain to 12 o'clock, then let's turn the mid control all the way down. So let's play around a little bit with the mid control and see how that sounds. Now it's all the way down in the bottom. Now let's try out the tone control. <laughs> I'm turning back the mid to 12. I'm keeping the volume at max because I like the way the energy just flows through the tones. So let's just turn down the tone all the way down. <laughs>
personally just love when you have that really nice tone you don't need a whole lot of gain but you have the energy you have the sustain and you have the feeling it's just great playing around with all right so now i've rolled back the tone but i've upped the gain to the maximum at the same time i have the volume at the maximum this could be noisy i mean this is not a distortion pedal but it could still be noisy a lot better than i expected actually so let's see how this sounds um, it could be interesting <laughs> sound uh, even with those maxed so now let's play around a little bit with low gain instead <laughs> example where I'm thinking you have a, a rhythm sound that is not too gainy uh, in this case I'm using a profile from Reamp Zone it's the pack from an orange AD140 I think you should see that on screen without the pedal it sounds like this <laughs> said with volume control set for max you don't need much gain to bring a whole lot of energy into the sound that you already have so this is uh, well the gain is at nine o'clock volume is at full and the rest you'll see that on screen anyway so this is what it sounds like then <laughs> sound I would say. Let's see more what we can do with this great little pedal. So I tried to dial in a sound that would be great for leads. I added a whole lot of mids, turned down the tone and up with the gain. Still the volume at full pot but uh, not too noisy anyway. So I'm thinking you need lots of mids to cut through the mix right? Alright. So this is, uh, this is that sound.
way, this is quite a heavy sound, I would say. Someone out there is asking, and yeah, that's alright, but couldn't you try it with low again? Just to boost it a little bit? Sure I can, and this is it. So this is the same setting I was using before, but uh, the game is really turned down a whole lot. <laughs> So this is just before the game control touches the bottom or the stop or whatever you call it. Then it sounds like this. What the heck was that? to tell you but this is the end of the video or maybe you are happy then I hate you because I'm sorry but that's totally besides the point uh, I don't hate you either I'm just joking of course so the DP Doppel of course I also got the new Tone City Wild Fro which is a totally different beast uh, if I should be frank I can tell you already now I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a comparative video with these two together I prefer the DP Doppel over the Wild Throw any day. I'm not saying that this one is any any less than this one, but it, to my taste, to what this pedal can do, it's just so freaking pleasing. I really hope the tones go through in this video because when I was playing, it's almost like I didn't want to stop playing when I hooked this up. It just have a, a I don't know a really nice character, a warm tone. It gives nice sustain when you turn up the volume it just kicks in a ton of energy into the tone and uh, that alone that boost alone is worth the pedal that that's my point uh, if you didn't know the DP stands for Dan Danish Pete who works at Andertons uh, and I'm gonna do a little uh, talk up for Andertons even though I don't get paid for it I bought both the pedals the Wild Fro and the DP Doppel from Andertons because they have good prices, they have good service. Also, if you buy two of these pedals, you will get power supply for them. And that is a great deal, actually. A really great deal. Um, so thanks for that, Andertons. And you're welcome for the free commercial I just gave you. Uh, but anyway, what a pedal. I like it a lot. I give it the highest rating. It's small, it's cheap, it's very well built, it's metal casing. You can't run it on batteries, you gotta have some battery eliminator to it, a power supply for it. It's true bypass, it's high quality, yes it comes from China, but man, this pedal for around 44 euros, it's, it sounds better than pedals for like 200 euros, I would say. Uh, of course you can't put everybody on the same line because it all depends on what you want to achieve. If you really want to play metal then this is not for you but for a bluesy, warm, nice, I almost said vintage but I don't want to say, I don't want to call it vintage because it doesn't have to be vintage just because it has that 
incredibly nice character to it. But it could be vintage as well. Anyway, I've talked too much. I would give a top rating for this. Did I say this already? I'm going to compare it with the Mandragora in another video. Maybe I'll do a video where I compare the Wild Fro and this one as well. They have nothing really in common more than that they come from Tone City. Both are inspired by people who work at Andertons and they came out at around the same time. Am I talking too much now? I probably am. I'm so sorry for that, but I can't help myself. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching. If you want to support me, please do subscribe to have guitar and I will buy you a beer if I have a beer, not bear, beer if I ever meet you somewhere and you're above 18 or at least le where it's legal in your country to drink if you're your age. As always, I tend to just mess up my thoughts with what I'm saying and that could be because I'm thinking in Swedish but trying to talk English. Yeah, let's sit quiet for just a moment and think about that. Okay, that's enough. Anyway, uh, I do hope you liked the video and that you want to support me by a subscription. If you don't like the video, feel free to tell me why, because as I've said, I want to evolve, I want to get better. Anyway, I'm not going to talk anymore now. Um, there is a new video out every Thursday. A big fat thank you to all of you who do subscribe. I love you for it. And uh, see you there, and then I hope. So stay clean and play really hard until the next time. Goodbye.